Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I'm really excited about today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the 2023 NEC changes for Article 100. And this is probably the biggest change I've ever seen in my career. You know, just overall, they completely revamped, changed the way that they do NEC definitions. And I'm really excited to tell you about it now. So in previous code cycles, we had the Article 100 definitions, which were great. It just defined the things that were across the code um, able to be applied. So if it was a Article 100 definition, it was called a code-wide definition. It was the truth in Article 200, it was the truth in Article 800, and everywhere in between. So with that being said, with the 20, and then in the individual sections were called the dot two sections. So if you went to 250.2, if there were any definitions that only applied to Article 250, they were there in the dot two section. 230.2, 250.2, and you could not take that definition and use it over in a different article. It was only for that article. Well, they've made a radical change. I'm super excited about it, and they've really made some huge steps this code cycle to really start cleaning up the code book because, you know, our code book has gotten, I mean, they're, you know, they've gotten huge, and I have no problem with the size, but they've removed tons of redundancy. I've been here at the IAEI meetings and got to hear from the code making panels how they've really radically changed the code book for the 2023. So what they've done now is they've taken every definition in the entire code book and they've moved it back to Article 100. And what that does for us is for one, uh, you know, I heard from some of the code making panel people who made, you know, were a part of making the code process is they would have eight definitions for the same word. Sometimes in the same article, they'd have the same word with two different definitions. So they've cleaned up a ton of the redundancy and a ton of the, you know, conflicting um, definitions. Now, you know, you might define something different in a certain section, and those will still be reflected in Article 100. So how they've done it now is they've removed everything from all the dot two sections, and they brought it back to Article 100. So they've cleaned up some of it. So if there was eight definitions, there may only be two definitions now for that same word. One thing that we have to watch out for when we are in Article 100 if after the definition there's a parentheses and it shows an article number, that definition only applies to that article. You can't take and apply it to somewhere else inside of the code book. The other thing that we have to watch out for, you know, when, when we're going through these definitions is, is that when we do deal with the dot two sections now that are in the code book, they didn't get rid of them. They figured they could use that real estate for something important. And what they've done is when you get to a dot two section now in a code book that was previously definitions, they have inserted there the reconditioned equipment requirements. So if you get to 250 and there was a dot two section in 250 and it was used for definitions previously, they have taken that now and they're gonna teach you how to address reconditioned equipment. And the reason this is so important is because, and especially as we get farther and farther into time and you know different disasters and different things, there's gonna be lots of reconditioned equipment on the market, on the open market. And that's on eBay, that's on you know all the other places that you can buy things like that. And especially with the raising costs of inflation, it's more alluring to people, hey, I can buy this three phase uh, panel you know, a main, you know, main power panel and I can buy it off of eBay for $500 instead of paying $1,500 and having to wait nine months. So it's really going to become, you know, the shortage of parts and the price of parts are really going to drive the reconditioned market. So you cannot just buy, you know, equipment and, and it, it'd be reconditioned and it'd be okay to use. There's rules and there's guidelines that we have to do. So we have to be very careful to protect us and also to protect our customers. So just to recap, they moved every single definition to Article 100. It's a lot thicker now, but I feel like it's gonna bring, a, it's gonna be a lot more cohesive with the code where we're not having to do this and that, wondering where all these definitions are, especially if you're an AHJ and you're having to explain to somebody that that definition's not in Article 100 or that definition in Article 100 doesn't apply to the code. But now in the 2023, they're all in Article 100. And if they have a parentheses around it, then it means that it applies only to that article. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and I want to let you know that I'm praying for you today. I just want to see you win. And if there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.